YouTube, welcome to my channel. I already have a full face of makeup on, lashes, everything. The only thing I'm missing are my eyebrows. So today I thought I would do a brow tutorial. I did have a few people ask how I do my brows. Thought I would just do a dedicated video kind of like to reference to or for anybody else that is curious. I naturally just have thinner brows and I do tint them so they are a little bit darker but naturally they are very light and just thinner. I haven't plucked them in years, it's just how they are. It is what it is. But through the years I have found the best method for brows like mine. So if your brow is similar to me then hopefully you find this video interesting and this is a one product only brow tutorial it is the NYX lift and snatch brow ink pen right here and I use the color ash brown this is probably my fourth time buying this product I've been using it for several months I don't know exactly but it is the only product that I use and I have used many products I did laminate my brows before and I feel like laminating my brows helped kind of keep them up I've only done it twice but since laminating them, I, I do feel like it helped keep them up and I just continue to brush them upward because naturally they do tend to fall downward. I've tried other great products like the brow stamp, the brow pencils, brow pomades, the brow powders, things like that. I've tried so many different brow products and they are great, but in my opinion, this, at least for me, is the best brow product out there right now. And I've also tried the, like, the little L'Oreal brow pen that has like the little teeth on it, but this, in my opinion, triumphs all of those. So before I get started, I did want to share about some new Ana Luisa pieces I got here. So I am an Ana Luisa partner. If you're not new to my channel, you probably heard me mention them in a few videos. For the month of September, they do have 10% off using code TOSH10. I decided to partner with them because I genuinely love working with them. I love the aesthetic of all the pieces that they carry there. Some of them can be super minimalistic and very simple while still being very aesthetic. And then some of them are more glam like these right here. So I have the Lisa hoops right here, which seem like your simple gold hoop. And they're very easy to put on. You just like, snap them on and then they have this little bangle here covered in cubic zirconia stone very pretty in my opinion so they add like a little bit of glitz and glam to your basic everyday hoops and then they have other similar styles like that where they'll have like a cubic zirconia or different colored stones and things like that then they have something more basic like this it's like a twist on your typical hoop but as you can tell right here they have those grooves in it kind of giving it some texture and a little bit of uniqueness and this one does have an opening in the back but these are the kind of pieces that I gravitate towards which is why I love Anna Louisa and then there's this Anna uh, Anna bold this is the Adam bold chain necklace right here and this is chunkier than the Joseph chain that I wear all the time I've had this one for months I wear it all the time I've even forgotten to take it off before I take a shower sometimes don't recommend that at all but it just sustains so much daily wear in my opinion I mean I would sleep in it I wear it for weeks on end and it is still in such great condition so I do love this one but it is a bit more uh, it's thinner this one is kind of like chunkier, if you will, but it's not completely chunky. It still has a little bit of a, like a feminine touch to it. So I do love their necklaces. I decided to layer them so you guys can get an idea between the two of them. So this is the Adam Bold. These are the Latitude earrings. And then these are the Lisa hoops right here. And then they have other things that I've mentioned in previous videos. Just thought I would mention them because they do have a 10% off sale. I'll leave the link down below for anybody that's interested because I genuinely genuinely love working with this brand and i do love their pieces but now on to the brow tutorial first thing first is i will brush my brow hairs upward and my brows are not perfectly symmetrical so i outline them to make them look symmetrical that is the first step that i do so i store my pen upside down you do have to be careful when you do this because a lot of times the ink can pull at the bottom and then when you open it there'll be like a bunch of ink just pulled at the bottom so just wipe it off if that is the case and um, but I do feel like doing this helps to keep it nice and saturated instead of drying it out if you were to keep it upright But the first thing that I'll do is I'll outline the bottom of the brow And then I'll do the same thing for the other eyebrow and I do this because I want them to look as symmetrical as possible So I kind of do the same thing to both brows at the same time and once I do the bottom I'll outline the top and then once I have my outline I want them to look have the shape that I want that's when I'll go and fill them in and if they are too harsh, don't worry because then I'm going to use a spoolie to brush out any harsh lines. This is a spoolie that I always use, as you can tell. Very simple, but this method just has not failed me yet and it's just my all-time favorite. So I'll outline the bottom like I said. I'm being very gentle, light-handed, and this does deposit quite a bit of product. So I would say be very light-handed. And I just create the brow shape that I want, not necessarily following the exact brow shape of my eyebrow because as you can tell I don't really have any hairs here but I'm gonna mimic them later on and then I'll do the same thing to this eyebrow all right 
So you can see right here, I don't really have a lot of brow hairs. I don't go high up, because if I were to outline it higher, this one would be higher than this one. So I just try to make them as symmetrical as possible. And then I'll go in and do the top outline and outline the top. It'll get filled in, so don't worry. It might look crazy now, but it will get filled in. And then I'll do the same thing for this eyebrow. like I said because obviously I'm missing a lot of gaps but this is when I will go in and do very light strokes and finish and fill everything in so in the front I'll do upward strokes again be very light-handed because this does deposit quite a bit of color and then I'll just fill in wherever I feel like my eyebrow needs to be filled in and I follow the natural direction of my brows so right here obviously they go start going downward so I'll kind of do the same thing that my brows are doing, brow hairs are doing, same direction. I don't know if that's making sense, but hopefully it is. Just create a bit of a tail. And I personally love this pen because it mimics those hair-like strokes. It does look intense right now, but like I said, don't worry because you're going to be able to brush out the harsh lines with the spoolie. And then I'll do the same thing to this eye. Just do like very soft, gentle strokes. And I'll kind of go above beyond the outline that I made just to make it seem more natural and a little bit more bushy. I like my brows to have more of a bushy appearance versus very structured and rigid. And if, if you see any areas where you feel like you don't like it, just like swipe it off and do it again. It's really not a big deal. It does come off easily, but at the same time, I do feel like this product lasts me all day, no issues. And then this is when I will go in and start to brush out any harsh lines. So starting at the front, I'll brush out any harsh lines and then I'll try to avoid the tail area because I do like that to be darker. I just kind of focus it on the front and try to blend it in to make it look as more softer and natural. And then I'll do the same thing to this eye here. You can make it as dark or as light as you want. Obviously, the more you rub it, the more it's going to come off. I feel like this brow pen really creates those believable, realistic hair like strokes even in places where I don't have it and then you just use a brow gel to set the brow hairs and they stay up all day and this is the finished result I love it I've been using this method for months now it is my go-to method as I mentioned this is gonna be a super simple easy tutorial so hope it was helpful for anybody that is looking for a way to do their brows I'm not like a specialist by any means but this has definitely been my favorite so I'll leave the link for this brow product down below for anybody interested as well as the link to shop Anna Luisa check them out I do think they have some really great pieces hope this review was helpful thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos